Welcome to the global defense battle. The K-9 Vajra is an Indian self-propelled howitzer based on South Korea's K-9 Thunder. It is developed and manufactured by Larsen and Tubro in collaboration with Hanwha Defense of South Korea. The purpose behind the development of the K-9 Vajra was to enhance India's artillery firepower with a modern, reliable and mobile platform that could withstand India's challenging environments. The Vajra was officially inducted into the Indian Army in 2018, marking a new chapter in India's self-propelled artillery capabilities. The K-9 Thunder, on the other hand, is a South Korean self-propelled howitzer designed for rapid deployment and high firepower. Developed by Samsung Techwin in the 1990s, the K-9 Thunder was created to counter the threat posed by North Korea's artillery units. This model has proven itself effective in several militaries worldwide, being adopted by countries like Turkey and Australia under different names and specifications. It officially entered service in South Korea in 1999 and has since undergone multiple upgrades to keep it advanced and competitive. The reason for comparing these two howitzers is that the K-9 Vajra is derived from the K-9 Thunder, and both serve similar roles in their respective armies. This comparison helps understand how India adapted the K-9 Thunder to suit its needs and what differences exist between the two versions. So let's start. Talking about the design first, the K-9 Vajra is built on the platform of the K-9 Thunder, but features several design modifications to suit Indian conditions, especially high-temperature desert operations. The Vajra's body design consists of a steel hull, offering a high level of ballistic protection against small arms and shrapnel. The turret, which houses the main gun, is mounted on top, allowing 360-degree rotation for flexibility in firing positions. The K-9 Vajra has an overall weight of around 47 tons, slightly heavier than the original K-9 Thunder due to additional armor and modifications. The length of the Vajra is approximately 12 meters, and it stands around 3.4 meters high. One key element is the hydropneumatic suspension, which gives the Vajra better stability and mobility in varied terrains like deserts and plains, essential for Indian environments. On the other hand, the K-9 Thunder, the original South Korean design, features a sleek and efficient structure with a focus on speed and mobility. The body of the K-9 Thunder is also made of welded steel, providing protection from small caliber fire and artillery shrapnel. It has a turret that can rotate fully, allowing it to quickly aim and fire in different directions. The K-9 Thunder weighs around 46 tons, slightly lighter than the Vajra due to its standard armor configuration without additional modifications. Its overall length is about 12 meters, similar to the Vajra, while its height is slightly lower, standing at 3.25 meters. It also has a hydropneumatic suspension system that supports its high-speed mobility, giving it an advantage in rapid deployment. The main difference in weight and size between the two is due to the additional armor and modifications on the K-9 Vajra, making it about one ton heavier than the K-9 Thunder. Speaking about caliber and performance, the K-9 Vajra is equipped with a 155mm 52 caliber main gun, the same as its South Korean counterpart. The caliber of a gun refers to the diameter of the barrel, which in this case is 155mm, while the 52 caliber indicates the length of the barrel is 52 times the diameter. This longer barrel enhances the muzzle velocity of the projectile, which means the shell exits the gun faster and with greater force. The K-9 Vajra can fire up to a maximum range of 38 to 40 kilometers with standard ammunition, but this can extend up to 54 kilometers when using special rocket-assisted projectiles. The K-9 Vajra has a firing rate of 6 to 8 rounds per minute. The K-9 Thunder also uses a 155mm 52 caliber main gun, matching the caliber and barrel length of the K-9 Vajra. This gun allows the K-9 Thunder to achieve a maximum range of around 40 kilometers with standard shells and up to 50 kilometers using rocket-assisted ammunition similar to K-9 Varja. Its firing rate is slightly higher, with a capacity of up to 8 rounds per minute. However, both howitzers are essentially equal in terms of caliber and range capabilities, as they share the same gun specifications. Talking about fire control system and guidance, the K-9 Vajra has a high level of automation in its loading and firing processes, which improves its efficiency and speed during operations. It also has an advanced fire control system that is designed to be compatible with Indian requirements. The FCS includes GPS-based navigation, which helps locate targets accurately, and an inertial navigation system for precise positioning, even in challenging terrains. It has features like automatic target acquisition, 
ballistic calculation for shell trajectory, and rapid fire adjustment capabilities. These features enable the K9 Vajra to quickly adapt to changing battlefield scenarios, maintaining accurate fire support even in complex and dynamic environments. On the other hand, the K9 Thunder, being the original model, is also equipped with a high level of automation for its time. It uses an advanced autoloader. Its fire control system is advanced, featuring automatic target tracking, ballistic computing, and automatic gun alignment. These systems allow the K9 Thunder to calculate the best firing angles and adjust rapidly to engage multiple targets effectively. The FCS integrates with GPS and INS, similar to the Vajra, providing precise targeting and movement capabilities, making it highly efficient in battlefield conditions. Both howitzers have advanced fire control systems and the core features like GPS integration, autoloaders, and ballistic computing are also similar. Coming to the type of ammunitions, the K9 Vajra is designed to fire various types of 155mm ammunition. It can use high explosive shells, which are the most common for targeting enemy fortifications, infantry and vehicles. These shells create a powerful blast and shrapnel spread upon impact. The Vajra can also fire smoke shells to create visual cover and illumination rounds to light up the battlefield during night operations. Additionally, it supports rocket-assisted projectiles, which extend its range beyond the standard 40 kilometers. On the hand, the K9 Thunder also utilizes a range of 155 mm ammunition, similar to the Vajra, as they share the same gun system. It can also fire high explosive shells for general destruction, smoke rounds for concealment, and illumination rounds for nighttime visibility. Like the Vajra, the K9 Thunder also supports rocket-assisted projectiles to enhance its range, reaching up to 50 kilometers. The Thunder is known for its ability to use precision-guided munitions, which can hit targets with high accuracy using guidance systems. So, both howitzers have similar capabilities in terms of ammunition types. However, the K9 Thunder is often considered more accurate due to its integration of precision-guided munitions, which provide an edge in hitting specific targets with high precision. Talking about the modility and chassis type, the K9 Vajra uses a modified version of the K9 Thunder's chassis, designed to enhance its mobility in India's diverse terrains, especially desert and rugged areas. The chassis is based on a tracked design, which offers excellent off-road performance by distributing the weight of the vehicle and providing traction on loose surfaces like sand, mud, and rough terrain. This tracked system is equipped with a hydro-pneumatic suspension, allowing it to adjust the height and angle of the vehicle for better stability and comfort while moving over uneven surfaces. The K9 Vajra's chassis ensures a maximum speed of 67 km per hour on roads and maintains good speed even off-road, making it suitable for quick repositioning during combat. The mobility is further supported by its powerful MTUMT881 KA500 diesel engine, which delivers high torque for tough environments. The K9 Thunder also uses a tracked chassis, specifically designed to provide mobility in a variety of terrains, including hilly and muddy areas found in South Korea. Like the Vajra, it features a hydropneumatic suspension system. The K9 Thunder is capable of reaching a top speed of 67 km per hour on roads, similar to the Vajra. It is powered by the same diesel engine, ensuring high performance and reliability. In terms of mobility, both howitzers are nearly identical due to their shared platform and components, including the tracked chassis and hydropneumatic suspension. Coming to the cost, the K9 Vajra has an estimated cost per unit of around $7 million. Several factors contribute to this price, including the modifications made to adapt it to Indian conditions, such as enhancing the cooling systems, improving the suspension for desert terrain, and adding additional armor protection. Since the K9 Vajra is manufactured in India by Larsen and Tubro under a technology transfer agreement with Hanwha Defense, local production helps reduce costs compared to importing the system directly from South Korea. On the other hand, the K9 Thunder has an estimated cost per unit ranging from $6.5 million to $7 million, depending on the variant and country-specific requirements. The Thunder's base model is slightly cheaper than the Vajra because it is produced in South Korea, where manufacturing processes have been streamlined and costs are controlled through established supply chains. The K9 Vajra has seen the production of around 100 units specifically for the Indian Army. The Vajra is primarily deployed in India's western desert regions, such as the Rajasthan sector, where its design and features are optimized to handle the extreme heat and sandy terrain. As of now, there have been no export deals for the K9 Vajra, as it is specifically designed and modified for Indian requirements. However, it remains a crucial part of India's modernization of its artillery units.
On the other hand, the K-9 Thunder has a much broader production scale, with over 1,700 units produced and deployed in various countries. It is stationed in areas that allow rapid deployment in response to artillery attacks and hostile engagements. Apart from South Korea, the K-9 Thunder has been exported to several countries, including Turkey, Poland, Australia, and Estonia, under different variants and local names. For example, Turkey produces the K-9 Thunder under the name T-155 Fertina, and Poland has acquired units as Crab. In summary, the K-9 Vajra and K-9 Thunder are both powerful self-propelled howitzers, sharing a common foundation but tailored for different needs. Together, they demonstrate the evolution of modern artillery systems and how adaptations and localization can create powerful tools tailored for specific defense needs. Which howitzers do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.